I'm Natalie, and this is Claire, and this is Jen, and we're the founders of Wizard Star Bars, and we're coming to you, to you today in hopes that you'll buy our product at your Boulder Farmer's Market. And our bar is energizing, it's a healthy alternative as a snack, and we chose Colorado as our target market because people there are hikers and skiers and just like to be outdoors, so that's where we can find most of our clients. We've tested our bars in the Boulder um, Community College and other universities around there. And with the teenagers and the college students who need the most energy, they have been really using and buying our products to help them for taste. And also, we sold it in Keystone Mountain Resort for like families and skiers so we can see if all ages enjoy our bars. And we got um, good results from both, so that's a good sign. In the past, we've sold them for single bars, and we've sold them for a dollar at the University and the Sea Resort, and we made $1,600, but it only cost us $479 to make, so we made $1,121. So in our future, we would like to expand nationwide to grocery stores, vending machines, schools, and nature trails. We, in addition, we'd also want to make new flavors using new combination of ingredients. Um, we're looking at your farmer's market and hope we can gain year-round buyers who will always be there for us to gain a customer buildup. Um, for us, a batch of six, which we would sell them in a box of six like this, would cost $182 to make, while we would probably sell it to your store um, for $2.80. Uh, you could probably sell it for $3.75 and still make a dollar and five cents. And our granola bar has a profit of about six to eight, or I mean, a uh, shelf life of about six to eight months. And the package won't take up that much room on the shelf because it's small. And uh, our packaging is all recycled, and it's made to like grab people's attention with the bright colors. Thank you. Any questions? Talk to me. So I know that you, you're kind of. You're starting in Colorado because that's a very natural spot. It's where you're at, right? Talk to me about a growth plan. Let's, you're having success there. Uh, you're wanting to get bigger. Uh, let's say that we bring you in and um, you, you get bigger here, but then where do you then expand to outside of Colorado? At first, we could expand to like around the region, but then like eventually we could expand as somebody who is leaving for Colorado this afternoon to go skiing, I have already bought all of my power bars and things like that for the weekend here at the local grocery store, so I don't have to make that stop in local Colorado markets. How do you capture that market as well? Um, we started selling them in like the lodge, so it's like, oh, I'm about to go skiing, this looks good, like near the breakfast or just like in the lobby. But we're just hoping to get them around like in vending machines and at like colleges. So to spread our idea, we would start in the regions and like that play area, but um, we could just get bigger by just getting our name known and we could put it in like REI shops and just places where we know that they'll be consumed because of their energy guarantee. How important is a brand name in this space? Because you get the travelers, um, like myself, who go skiing once a year. And when I look at the power bar aisle for my snack while I'm skiing, I don't know that a brand name really does a whole lot for me because there's so many different names and I'm not familiar with any of them. So how important do you think your name is and to the average person versus the appeal of your packaging. I mean, our product, we sell it for less than other granola bar companies, and okay. so that would like appeal to people. Okay. Also, um, we know that the name doesn't matter as much as just the eye, because you see stuff before you like read it, so you would see this box and you would be attracted to it because of its like, um, there's like bright colors and the bars on the front so it looks good and there's nutritional facts and there's pictures on the back so we just feel like it will really attract their eye and that's what we're hoping. And then ultimately what really makes your product different than the 20 other bars that are sitting there on that shelf in the store? Well for one we have a better price than everyone else okay. and, and also oh, made with like different ingredients like mm -hmm. we have the strawberries in it and not really anybody else has that. Okay. And also our taste is different than a lot of the granola bars. It has like a different taste. Okay. All right.
Good job, girls. Thank you.